thriving, ever-changing example of Mother Nature's awesome power. Within these oceans live an estimated 1 million species of life and 352 quintillion gallons of water. With the threat of global warming and a changing environment, scientists from every discipline are tasked with the important job of protecting our oceans and aquatic habitats to ensure the survival and longevity of the lives they hold. It will be your generation of minds that will be charged with saving our oceans and making the planet a cleaner, healthier place. Your companion of choice to help you on this mission? An underwater autonomous vehicle or hydrobot. This year's competition will revolve around the work of conservationalists and oceanographers. You and your team will be tasked with building a hydrobot to accomplish the tasks laid out before you in this video. The hydrobot challenge will take place at the McLean County Fairgrounds in Bloomington, Illinois on Saturday, May 13th, 2023. Team registration will open January 16th, 2023 and will close April 14th, 2023. There will be a $20 entry fee per team assessed at the time of registration. All team health forms are due at the time of registration and will be accessible through the challenge download link. And these are your challenges. Decorate your hydrobot as something ocean themed that your team has a personal interest in. It could be a submarine, a shark, or sea anemone, for example. Points will be awarded per hydrobot decorated. When programming aquatic robots, it only takes a single incorrect character to ruin an entire code or program. Debug a line of code using different number blocks to denote bugs in a computer terminal. Using the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, remove all bugs from the terminal except 0. Points will be awarded per bug removed, with 0 points being awarded if the 0 is removed. Send an audible message during your challenge while spinning in 5 circles. Points will be awarded if completed using one hydrobot, with more points awarded if using two hydrobots communicating in sync. Build a bridge at a water crossing site by placing two blocks at either end of the bridge and one spanning piece across the top. The bridge must be at least 6 inches tall and 8 inches long, with more points awarded if the bridge is over 16 inches long. Additional points will be awarded if one hydrobot builds the bridge and the other hydrobot crosses the bridge. One of the more important jobs of the EPA is to monitor and evaluate the health and stability of ocean reefs, often noting where the reefs are damaged and need to be rebuilt. Identify reef site on your field and draw a box of no more than 12 inches by 12 inches to denote where reef is damaged and needs to be rebuilt. While reefs occur naturally, artificial reefs help to protect marine life, fight erosion, or even help improve surfing. Collect artificial reef parts from a conservation warehouse located six inches above the playing field and build an artificial reef made up of up to five pieces at the reef site from task five. If not completing task five, please designate a reef site on your playing field. Points will be awarded for each piece added to the reef, with more points awarded if five pieces are successfully added with the fifth placed on top. The oceans of the globe make up what are known as the world's ocean. Help oceanographers visualize each ocean by placing a location marker in each of the five oceans of your field. Points will only be awarded if all five markers are placed within each ocean. Bonus points will be awarded if two hydrobots place at least two coordinates each. In 2017, Odyssey Marine Exploration discovered and salvaged over $500 million worth of sunken treasure from the wreckage codenamed Black Swan. Salvage a treasure chest from a wreck site, lifting it at least 12 inches above the playing field using a crane. Saving water while brushing your teeth or shortening your shower time can save you up to 1,500 gallons of water per year. Turn off a faucet to conserve water resources. When your hydrobot shuts off a faucet, the handle must travel at least 90 degrees horizontally from open to close. Potable water is an essential resource that requires the treatment of water that makes its way to your home. Using colored particles blue, red, yellow, green, and black, have your hydrobot remove all colors from a water purifier except for the blue block. 
Points will be awarded per particle removed, with bonus points rewarded if all four particles are removed. Zero points will be awarded if the blue block is removed. Update your local power grid by replacing up to two offshore oil rigs with hydroelectric energy generators from an onshore supply location. Each oil rig must be disposed of in an onshore recycling facility. Points will be awarded if using one Hydrobot, with more points awarded if one Hydrobot moves the drill and another moves the energy generator. Global warming has led to several negative effects on our planet's oceans and aquatic environments. Perform a five second interpretive global warming dance using sound and motion. Points will be awarded if using one bot, with more points awarded if using two Hydrobots dancing in sync. When divers take the plunge into the deepest parts of our oceans and lakes, they expose themselves to extreme pressures which often time require them to decompress. Have your Hydrobot decompress by turning a crank on a decompression chamber two times clockwise or counterclockwise. Points will be awarded if using one Hydrobot with more points awarded if one Hydrobot is parked in the chamber and the other turns the crank. Most autonomous underwater vehicles require a long tether that connects the ground station to the underwater robot. That means that when navigating underwater, the bot needs plenty of clearance when navigating around objects. Navigate through a kelp force of between two and five clusters of kelp placed in a straight line using sensors for obstacle avoidance. To score points, your Hydrobot must clearly navigate around a cluster that is in its path of motion, essentially weaving through the kelp. Simply navigating past a cluster will not score you points. If your Hydrobot comes in contact with the cluster, that cluster will not be included in the calculation of additional points. Aquariums like the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago offer both an enjoyable experience for guests, but also serve as a rescue and rehabilitation environment for sick, injured, or even endangered aquatic life. Transport five injured fish, one from each ocean, to an aquarium site located six inches above the playing table, dropping them into a tank placed on the playing floor. Points will be awarded per fish rescued and dropped into the aquarium, with bonus points awarded if all five fish are successfully rescued. And those were your challenges. We hope to see each and every one of you at the Hydrobot Challenge taking place at the McLean County Fairgrounds in Bloomington, Illinois on Saturday, May 13th. Good luck.